Let's turn to Gombe State, where government is commemorating Nigeria's 60th Independence Day anniversary by empowering hundreds of youths in the state. The youths were trained in vocational skills and given starter parks to practice their craft. Normally, Independence Day anniversary celebrations are done with a lot of fanfare. But with the twin blows of insecurity and coronavirus pandemic, the mood is modest in Gombe State. Hundreds of young people trained in various vocational skills were given starter packs for them to commence their craft. Officials of Gombe State government argues that this is better investment than big rallies and parades. We should not jump with those skills we have acquired here because any skill is very, very important. If we eat sewing, we eat hairdressing, we eat fashion designing, name it. Sewing machines, grinders, air making equipment, all these were donated to the beneficiaries based on each person's vocation. The appeal by the government is for these equipment to be put to productive use and not sold off. The calculation is that the potential ripple effect of empowering a few hundred youths with critical life skills is limitless. We are not only creating skills, but also making them self-dependent and self-employed or supporting people who are employed, employers of labor. This skill acquisition training has not only proven to be impactful to the lives of its graduates, but has shown that correct application of these skills would go a very a long way to not only helping you individually to attain financial independence, but has the potential to help support the family and communities. Gombe State has a combined unemployment and on the employment rate of over 50% of its population. Many would agree that empowering these people with productive skills is far more beneficial than hosting a big rally or a few government officials whining and dining. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.